Get your blackberries here. Get your low cost entry level blackberries here. Oh, you know, it's summertime. I always wanted to be one of those guys at a baseball game who walks around selling peanuts and, you know, throws them behind his back and over his head and kind of like Tom Cruise in Cocktail but with peanuts. Anyway, eh, well. What's up? It's the, uh, I'm Noah from Farndog.com having my little uh, Dog Days of Summer Fantasy here. And I'm not even that big of a baseball fan. I just like the idea of walking around yelling, get your peanuts. It's the T-Mobile BlackBerry Curve 8520, the newest low-cost entry-level BlackBerry. Hit T-Mobile, hit parts of India, hit all over the place. Uh, on T-Mobile, 129 on contract, but Walmart's selling it for under 50 bucks on contract. Amazon selling it for one penny, at least uh, as of right now when I'm making this video. When you're watching the video, for all I know, the phone, you know, the phone could cost eight million dollars by then, because that's the magic of uh, time on the internet, right? This video stays up forever. You could be watching it in the year 2047. Who knows? Anyway, in the box, you get. I got ahead of myself. I started unboxing. I wasn't even talking. You get your manual with your uh, CD in there. You get your terms and conditions and all that stuff, tips and tricks. You get your recycling label for your old phone. Do everybody a favor. Recycle your old phones. See, no post is necessary. It doesn't cost you anything. You're sticking it in that envelope. Drop it in the mailbox. Send it back. And uh, some of the phones can be, you know, recycled for parts. Some of them can just be refurbished and uh, sold or given to people, especially people in emerging economies, not in the U.S. Man, a cell phone can make a world of difference. So. Uh, it's very interesting stuff, actually, if you go and you read about what cell phones are doing for microeconomies around the world. But that's a subject for another day. Also in the box, you get the BlackBerry North America-style folding blade charger, micro USB, and black. This phone is available in both black and frost. The frost is a uh, silver color. We got the black. I doubt that the frost comes with a frost-colored charger, but you never know. If you have an 8520 out there, if you have the 8520 in frost, let us know. Did you get a frost-colored charger, or is it black? See? Here's your black charger, micro USB based. And we'll put that back because I have about 8 million Blackberry chargers floating around the office. You get a micro USB to USB data cable. And you get a 3.5 millimeter uh, headphone jack headset with your inline microphone and your stereo and all that. Yeah, this is what, you know, standard Blackberry stuff. But it's good. I mean, you get what you need to use the phone for work and for play and to uh, use it safely while behind the wheel of an automobile. Or at least, you know, more safely. Uh, than talking without a hands-free. Here's the phone itself. The big news on the uh, 8520, besides the price, is instead of a trackball, it's got this optical D-pad here now. Uh, otherwise, you've got 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, micro USB port on the side with uh, a single button there, kind of hidden underneath the rubber there on the back. Ooh, now it says curve officially. Uh, there's your camera. There's your back battery cover, kind of interesting. You've got the soft rubber grip and then the glossy battery cover. You want me to try to open the battery cover? I've been getting flack from people lately for how I fail at opening battery covers. Oh, this one, I like this phone already. This phone's a winner because I could open the battery cover on the first try. One gigabyte micro SD card pre-installed. This phone does not do edge, it does, I mean, did not do 3G. It does edge and Wi-Fi, uh, quad band GSM edge Wi-Fi. Uh, your rocker switch underneath. Interesting that they hid the buttons underneath the the rubber cover here, uh, the rubber membrane. And then on top you've got dedicated media controls, also new on this phone. So reverse, forward, and then play pause, which also doubles as a mute key. And there you go. Let's take a look at the phone. So here's the optical trackpad. Now in the past I've liked optical trackpads. Samsung Epix had an optical trackpad, I like that a lot. Um, but I also am a big fan of the, uh, the trackball. So I don't know. Uh, I like BlackBerry trackball trackballs, but apparently they're the the highest. It's been, I've been told by a few places. I can't verify this, but I've been told by a few people that that the trackball is the single highest point of failure on BlackBerry devices, and that's might be why they're moving towards the D-pad. I will right, we'll see. Um, you know, I'm just going to close this because I don't really need to go through that. So you know, otherwise it it it's a BlackBerry. It's got the MyFaves. It's got the UMA calling, which is terrific on T-Mobile. Their hotspot service you can get. You know, free unlimited calling if you're in Wi-Fi, and it helps the reception a lot as well, which is great. Um, you also get the browser. You know what? I think actually my uh, my radio seems to be off here. Turn 
the mobile network on. There you go. So I've got GSM now. Now I've got Edge. Super fast Edge. Super fast Edge. Uh, it's also a lower res display. While this is loading Phone Dog, I will get you some specs here. Uh, 512 megahertz processor, 256 megs of flash memory, of course the micro SD card slot, 2 megapixel camera with video recording, uh, BlackBerry Media Sync, so you can sync up to your iTunes or your Windows Media Player. Uh, of course it's got the BlackBerry App World, uh, stereo Bluetooth, that's not too bad for Edge, that was pretty quick. You know, it's letting the images still, but And that's nice the way it scroll it auto scrolls when you that they, they did a nice job with that. You know, this isn't too bad. I mean the the browser, I can't talk about the whole phone yet, but that, that really works for the Oh yeah, we're running this logo contest over on Phone Dog. You can win two hundred and fifty bucks if you've got design skills. Uh, we're getting ready to launch a new website called DroidDog.com. Our own Phone Dog John will be managing editor of Droid Dog, bring you all the Android news. And uh, we're looking to you. If you got design chops, you want to design a logo, check that out on Phone Dog. We've also got another uh, another new site coming soon, but we'll, we'll wait. We'll tell you about that later. But I'll give you a hint. If you're watching this video, you might be interested in it. That's all I'm saying. So the display on the 8520, the Curve 8520, is 320 by 240, which is a little lower res than the 8900 and also the new Tour from Sprint and Verizon. Maybe a dogfight's in order, but uh, here's a quick little preview. We'll show you. Let's get this out of the way. We can zoom a little bit. We'll put the uh, 8520 in the middle and the new tours on flanking it. We'll flank it with the tours. Zoom in a little bit. So you've got the Verizon tour, the T-Mobile 8520, and the Sprint tour. And basically, uh, the 8520 is a little bit lighter weight. It's actually quite a bit lighter weight than these two phones, almost a full ounce according to the specs, and just a hair lighter than the Curve 8900 on T-Mobile, which I don't have one of right now, or I'd show you. And that's basically because it's all plastic, and you're not getting the metal trim um, that you get on these other phones on the Tor. So here's the Curve in this hand, and here's the uh, Tor, this is the Verizon Tor, but they're basically the same. And you know, you've got those metal parts and everything that, that finish and stuff. And on the, uh, on the 8520, you don't get that. So it definitely feels, you know, a little bit lighter weight. But uh, my friend Todd over at Laptop said it feels, or not lighter weight, rather, it feels a little bit cheaper. He said it feels cheaper but not chintzy. And on my first impression, I would say that, too. This feels like, I mean, this, this phone feels lightweight. It's very, you know, the back panel smears a lot, as you can see. Uh, it feels lightweight, but it doesn't feel bad or cheap, at least on first glance. If anything, it feels kind of like lightweight and and durable because it's all plastic and you've got those buttons hidden underneath the rubber um, but we'll have to see over time you know it, it might turn out to feel more cheap I don't know we'll have to see uh, also I misspoke before I said that the frost this phone comes in frost as well I said it was silver it's actually kind of a silvery blue the frost is kind of a blue with a little silver to it haven't seen it in person yet but so uh, yeah so 320 by 240 screen instead of the higher res uh, HVGA of the tours and the curve 8900 but lower cost all plastic very lightweight and uh, there you go it's a first look and you've got that dedicated media player thing let's see what happens if I hit the play button on top oh, that took me so it's functioning as mute right now but let's go home if I hit it once if I hit it once it goes right to this so a short press goes right to the media player, and I think it's the same media player, really, as the, uh... It's only got one song in it, so I can't use the fast-forward controls. But hopefully it'll rewind. Hey, look at that. Rewind works. What more do you need? It's a first look at the Curve 8520, the BlackBerry Curve 8520 for T-Mobile. It's the new entry-level BlackBerry. Uh, again, it's GSM Edge Wi-Fi, no 3G, but then again, neither is the Curve 8900. Lighter weight, lower cost than the 8900. This is one, the launch price is 129 on contract after rebate from T-Mobile, but it's available uh, for as low as just under $50 uh, at Walmart and one penny at Amazon, at least as of my shooting this video. And perhaps you could find it as cheap or even cheaper if you go through phonedog.com and uh, hook up with Let's Talk who is one of our partners who you can buy cell phones from. So check that out. All right, we'll have much more on the Curve 8520. 
and its crazy new optical trackpad, uh, perhaps even including a dogfight on Phonog.com. And stay tuned, like I said, for Droid Dog coming soon. We've got another website coming soon, too. I won't tell you what uh, the name of the site is. I won't tell you what it's about, but I don't know. Maybe you could take a guess as to what the new site's going to be about. But Droid Dog will bring you all your Android news. And don't worry, Phone Dog's not going anywhere. We're just we're trying to give you a little more of what you came here for. Till next time, I'm Noah. Thanks for watching. Have a terrific day. We'll see you later.